Hello, this is Dr. G, and I'm here today to bring you one of my favorite recipes for fall. It's called vegan pumpkin lasagna. And not only is it delicious and make a great, great main course for Thanksgiving and Christmas and all those holidays that are falling in pumpkin season, but it's also all natural and you can make it gluten free as well so that it's not going to interfere with your health. You start out with a package of whole wheat pasta or if you want to make it gluten free, you can use a quinoa pasta or a rice pasta. Now, I think the recipe works best with the kind of lasagna noodles that you cook first, uh, but uh, they're not always easy to find. And actually, when I made this recipe uh, this time, I couldn't find the ones that you pre-boil, so I used the, uh, the other ones. Uh, so you start out, you take canned pumpkin, not pumpkin pie mix, but canned pumpkin, an egg replacer, and uh, I just use a, an actual egg replacer. Uh, they sell them at Whole Foods and Sprouts, but you can also use your own version of uh, replacing an egg, like using flax seeds. And you can find that on the internet. Add some water and some almond milk, and you just mix that all together. And that's going to be the, um, I guess you'd say the meat of your lasagna. The next thing that you wanna do is you want to make your cheese. Okay, this is just the most amazing cheese and it makes this dish so extraordinarily filling that even my husband who could normally finish anything I prepare in one sitting can only have one or two pieces and then he has to walk away. So it's extremely filling and satisfying. So for the cheese, you actually make it out of raw nuts. And for this, you're going to need uh, one and a half cups of raw unsalted almonds and half a cup of raw unsalted macadamia nuts. Now you could change this around however you want. You could use cashew nuts, uh, any of the types of nuts that you like to get the flavors of, but the macadamias, although they're expensive, really have a great oiliness to them that add to that cheesiness. So adding even a small amount of macadamias really makes a difference. So what you do is you take a high powered blender. I always use my Vitamix blender because I can't break that thing. And you take a quarter, a half cup of the macadamia nuts and a half a cup of your almonds, teaspoon of salt and three teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. And you just fill with water to the very top of the nuts and blend that until it's smooth. Then while still blending, you're gonna add the rest of the almonds, about a quarter cup at the time, until they're finely ground and fully incorporated. And you're gonna go for like a, a slightly grainy ricotta-like consistency. Now you're probably going to need the tamper to keep that blender going with such a thick mixture, but it is super delicious when it's done. Put that aside and we go right to the cream sauce. Now what you want to use is uh, coconut butter. Now I avoid any kind of margarine or butter because they're highly inflammatory. So I go with the virgin organic coconut butter. And you take three tablespoons of that and you heat it on low heat and when it's melted you whisk in the tapioca starch. Now I couldn't find tapioca starch so I bought tapioca pearls and I ground them with my coffee grinder. If you can't find either you can probably get away with cornstarch. It's a thickener. You're going to mix that in and then remove it from heat and add the almond milk. Then put it back on the heat and just keep whisking it, keep whisking it about three to five minutes until it's a nicely incorporated and you put a spoon in and you can pull it out and the back of the spoon is coated with that creaminess. Then it's just time to start layering your ingredients. And uh, what you want to do is you start out with your lasagna pan and you coat the bottom with your pumpkin mixture just to make it nonstick. Then you start layering your noodles. Now, um, if you're using the kind of noodles that you don't have to pre-bake, you've got to make sure you cover every spot of that noodle with sauce or it's going to end up hard. So uh, one of the reasons I don't like the non-cooking first noodles, but cover that up with some pumpkin sauce, then start clumping on your ricotta cheese. You can see I just took a spoon and clumped it on there. Uh, then you put some fresh leaves on it. I normally use spinach, but kale was on sale, so I threw some kale on there, some organic kale. Put a layer of your leaves on there and then drizzle on that rich cream sauce. From there, you're just going to keep layering. And for me, I usually get two to three layers. Okay. Now, when you get to the top, you want to cover the noodles again with all that pumpkin sauce, drizzle on whatever cream sauce you have left. And then what I like to do is put uh, 
completely cover the top with nutritional yeast. Now nutritional yeast is natural and it has uh, a cheesy Parmesan kind of flavor to it when you add it to your meals. And it also has a lot of B12 in it and protein. So it adds a nutritional punch to your dishes. So I add it whenever I can, but especially to pasta dishes because that flavor just goes really well. Then you put it into your preheated oven, which was set to 400 degrees, and you cook it for 30 minutes. That's it. Now, um, you could serve it after letting it cool down for 10 minutes, although I've got to say my favorite way to eat it is to put it in the refrigerator overnight, let all of those flavors just combine together, and then reheat it uh, the next day just till it's warm, and it is fabulous. My husband doesn't even bother to heat it up. He just eats it cold right out of the fridge. He says it's so good he can't even wait for the oven. So that is my recipe for pumpkin lasagna. It is phenomenal. I mean, as soon as there's pumpkin available in the stores, then I'm making my pumpkin lasagna. I hope you love this recipe as much as I do and my family does. This is Dr. G. I wish you the greatest health. Hope to hear from you soon with any questions you have on other videos I could make or questions I could answer.